He once lived in a wall city called Mochi. And even before that, other settlements, most of them that our sister live were fenced. So it's part of our architecture that your house might be fenced. It also marks the boundary of your land. And we don't want people to be trespassing without our permission. Now, we also fence because we don't have much land. It's very along the Angro of Wakama. So there is also Angro. But they have a lot of land. Their ancestors left Angro guy here and went to found more spacious places. But their ancestors still remain here and to prevent future fighting of our boundaries. Some people even fence the place and make a, a, a heart of uh, fronds, coconut fronds. You know why they use cement blocks to fence the area. So the fencing has a historical significance because most of the towns were fence settlements for ancestors. And so they carry that idea as they migrated to where we are. So, so it's not about, uh, they say, uh, uh, there is this God they, they used to say, can you explain that? Uh, 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 I just don't have that name of it. I know you can remember me. We have okay. a poly. <laughs> A poly only means the one that establishes the house. Toli in Anglaga is the one that on which Anglaga had been established. So the idea is that before you put up a house, there were some unseen beings living in that place. You don't see them. You know, matter occupies space and has weight. There is no empty place in the world. Something about, um, even if it's invisible, doesn't, you don't see it, doesn't mean there is nothing there. That is why after putting up your building, then they must call the river minister to come and purify the place for you. Even before you start, before you cut the sword, they should at least purify the place to drive out those spirits which you are occupying the place. Because if you don't do it, they will stay with you. And we have a lot of problems. You cannot explain why there are spiritual problems. So the unknown people, have a folly to ward off evil and unwanted spirits. Now, they also have a dhamma. For a dhamma is to regulate sexual life of the inmates of the house, especially the women. Most men have a dhamma at the threshold of their houses. So that when the women have sex outside marriage, they could not enter the house. If they dare enter, they become insane. And that one also controls the sexual life of unknown people. Because we are patrilineal, I want to be sure that the children are ready from us. Because a man you cannot know the sex that will lead to conception. Conception is a gift of God. So you want to feel proud that these are your children. And Adama plays that role very effectively. That the wives are aware that if they have picking a ball, they become mad. And so it helps to regulate proper 
marital conduct among the Amun Elvis.